Mementos from an old U.S. Navy battleship have been uncovered here in northeast Wisconsin. A couple from Hobart recently discovered pictures and other items of the USS Arizona before the attack on Pearl Harbor. Fox 11's Andrew Mertens explains how they're working to make sure these artifacts are preserved. It's a snapshot into the USS Arizona. Never forget. Pictures, newspapers, and other documents help tell the story of the ship, which was destroyed in the attack on Pearl Harbor in December of 1941. I knew there was some good stuff in there, or it had to be, and I looked at it not too long ago, and I thought, well, yeah, this, this, this really should be in museum. 78-year-old Lowell Franklin and his wife Wendy recently went through the items belonging to his father while cleaning out their home. As Lowell was digging in some boxes one day, I could hear him getting choked up downstairs, and I went down and realized what he was going through. Lowell's father, Arthur, served on the battleship as a member of the U.S. Navy. Lowell, who is battling Alzheimer's disease, says he enjoyed going through each item to learn more about his father's time in the military. He loved life, um, always a smile on his face. Arthur worked in the ship's print shop and kept samples of his work, including a Thanksgiving menu for the crew. He was honorably discharged just months before the attack, but Arthur would quickly rejoin following the bombing. The day after Pearl Harbor, he went down and re-enlisted for another four years. With many items in good shape, like Arthur's USS Arizona hat, the Franklins are working to make sure they will be on display. The couple plans on donating the materials to the University of Arizona. It's kind of a personal mission for us to get out there and make sure that it gets into the right hands of somebody that obviously will treasure it as much as we do, but preserve it for the rest of, rest of the world. They're leaving later this week for Tucson to meet with the curator of the university's USS Arizona collection. This was a gift from generations ago to us today, and the story just has to be told. For the Franklins, they just want to make sure history is remembered. In Hobart, Andrew Mertens, Fox 11 News. For SARS, can you kind of explain how this whole process has been of how you found it and Go ahead, going through it and to where we are now of, you know, wanting to um, bring this to Arizona to make sure this is on display for others to um, experience. Sure. Like most older adults, we're going through that process of starting to sort through things in our homes. And uh, as Lowell was digging in some boxes one day, I could hear him getting choked up downstairs. And I went down and realized what he was going through. And the amount of material and all of this material pertinent to his father, whom I had never met. His dad had been deceased before I met him. And as we're looking through these things, I thought, who saves this much um, of this kind of material? And realized kind of in that moment, this wasn't coincidental that it landed up in our lap. This was a story that his dad had hoped someday somebody would appreciate. My own husband, um, Arthur's son, is suffering with some memory issues. And we're trying to, I kind of want to say, fast forward our life and, you know, take advantage of every moment that we have. And so just about three weeks ago, we were talking about, gee, this would be really fun to take this to the museum in Arizona. And we're leaving on Friday. So yeah, it was a... Fast forward yeah. <laughs> trip to do this. But I think the important thing from all of this is that this was a gift from generations ago to us today, and the story just has to be told that this was an important time. This was life changing in the destiny, I believe, of the United States. You know, it really was our first time ever as a country, you know, being brought into battle on our ground. And his dad was adamant that he didn't want to see this country of ours being taken away. Yeah, so um, he was on the USS Arizona in the Navy before Pearl Harbor. He got out and Pearl Harbor happened Shoot. and he yeah. worked hard to get get back yeah. in the Navy oh, yeah. after that. Right. Yes. There's piles like I'd say 18 to 20 letters of where he tried to get back in while the war was still going on before Pearl Harbor. And because there was a break in service, apparently he didn't realize that he needed to continue, they told him, just go down to your recruiting office, finally. So the day after Pearl Harbor, 
he went down and re-enlisted for another four years. Yeah. It's amazing. And where would you guys happen to know what ship that was on then? Well, see, th then he was on land the whole time. Oh, he was on land the whole he time. He was in, okay. in um, San Diego and Long Beach. I was born in Long Beach Naval Hospital. Shortly thereafter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 45. <laughs> well, um, what, the, what does this mean then? To, um, you know, how willing has the uh, U of A been throughout this whole process? Um, from what I understand, University of Arizona has um, not only, oh, I'm sorry, my Christmas. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> not only, oh, it's just one thing after another. Not only do they have um, written records from people, but they also have been doing recordings of people that were involved with it. So I believe when we get there, they will want to take Lowell's materials. They also will probably want to record, as we're doing today, his recollection of what he found, how he found it, what his dad was like. And some of this material, um, I think just because of the quality of it and the rarity of it, um, are things that they, when I was talking to them, that they said they wanted in their archives. So I don't know if they photograph it, scan it, or if it'll be part of a collection that'll be on display. We don't know that yet, but that's gonna be part of our journey this next couple of weeks. How exciting is that then to be able to try and figure out what will happen of this stuff in hopes of allowing more people to see it and, you know, not necessarily just have it be in your hands anymore. Yeah. That's our biggest goal is that we don't have children. Um, if we don't do something with this, what happens to it? So it's kind of a personal mission for us to get out there and make sure that it gets into the right hands of somebody that obviously we'll treasure it as much as we do, but preserve it for the rest of rest of the world. Yeah. And my apologies, he, um, when he got first, when it first got out of the Navy, that was about, um, how long before Pearl Harbor? It was about a year? Four so months. No, yeah. four, four, four months. Oh, it was he, only four months he, before Pearl Harbor, he, yeah. okay. Because he got out in June or July okay. uh, of 41. And then Pearl Harbor was in December. Yeah, yes, so okay. That's right. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure before yeah. I, yeah, right. yeah. accuracy yeah. purposes, obviously. Um, well, I guess, Wendy, for you, is there anything you wanted to add in specific? Like, was there, is there any specific maybe piece in here that really wowed you, that, or that's one that you maybe keep going back to um, each it's, day? Or? I, would say it's, it's I nice. think having this along and, and with picture. the picture of his dad, knowing this is the hat my father-in-law would have worn that I've never got to meet. And it's in such great condition, but knowing that this represented so much more to him. Um, it's legacy to my husband, to his family, and I'm just so excited that I've gotten a chance to know this man through this man. And even going off of that, what, what, how has that journey been for you, even learning more about um, your father-in-law through all of this um, that has been covered? There's a lot of similarities, although he wouldn't admit it. Um, people know that he, this is, um, I would say, a splitting image of his dad in terms of personality, um, a person who loves art, Lowell's a photographer, and it's been harder and harder for him um, with his memory issues to do that. So I think right now, time is of the essence. We're just going to start making sure that we're doing everything we can so that he enjoys what time we have left together.